good morning students so welcome to uh, the class of physics for standard 6 so we were discussing the first chapter matter and today we'll discuss states of matter so as you know there are three states of matter solids liquids and gas besides that there are two more plasma and both einstein uh, condensates see plasma exists at very high temperature and uh, uh, it consists of uh, positive ions and electrons and at low temperatures extremely low temperatures both einstein's condensates exists okay so there are actually five states of matter but the last two we do not see generally okay so now let's discuss about the properties of the solid so as you have seen your book pen pencils and other objects like this uh, which do not change their shape so they are called solids so if you will see here the arrangement of molecules in solid if you can see there is particularly no gap in between the molecules so what happens you see the intermolecular force is very high in between the particles and the particles are tightly held at their positions and they vibrate at their positions so that is the reason why solids have fixed shape as i have discussed earlier your book has a fixed shape it takes a proper space and you can stack on your books so solids are stackable they have a fixed shape and volume see here i have put uh, the duster is put in three different uh, containers what is happening does the shape of the duster change no the shape of the duster does not change does it volume changes again the answer is no does it get compressed no so what we conclude that a solid has a definite shape a solid has a definite volume and a solid does not get compressed okay this happens due to very small, strong intermolecular force of attraction okay solids are very hard and rigid but you we if we beat it so the metals will change into thin sheets or it will break into powdered form all the things which we see in our daily life apple glue stick keys all those have a definite shape and volume and we cannot compress them easily so when we beat them put a force on them either they break into small pieces or what happens they may be uh, beaten into thin sheets so all these are properties of solid now let's see another uh, state that is the liquid state c here we are pouring the cold drink into two glasses of different shape you can see the cold drink flows okay from higher concentration to lower concentration and what happens here the cold drink is taking the shape of the glasses so in the larger tumbler it has taken a shape like this and in the smaller tumbler it is uh, taking the shape like this so these are the characteristics of a liquid in a liquid the molecules are less closely packed than the solid see the molecular structure of liquid you can see the gap between the molecules is very uh, larger than the solids so in other words the intermolecular force is less than the solid so what happens the molecules are not as tightly packed as the solid so it will have the freedom to move past one another so liquids can flow and can be poured as the molecules can slide past each other the uh, liquids have a definite volume but no no definite shape they are almost as incompressible as solids 
see here what is happening we have poured water into the beaker a bowl and a measuring cylinder what happens here you can see the water in the cylinder took the shape of the uh, cylinder the water in the beaker took the shape of the beaker and the water in the bowl took the shape of the bowl each time the water is taking the shape of the container so we may conclude that liquids do not have a fixed shape it takes the shape of the container but it has a definite volume see this balloon filled with air the air in this balloon takes the shape of the balloon and the balloons also do not occupy the same space so gases do not have a definite shape it takes the shape of the container in which they are filled also they don't have the fixed volume because there may be different amounts of air filled in this balloons so we can conclude that the gases do not have a definite shape they take the shape of the container in which they have uh, filled uh, been filled and also they do not have a fixed volume but how this happens and why this happens in this picture you can see the gas uh, is uh, the smoke from the burning incense stick is moving to each and every place or vacant space which it is finding this is vacuous the gas molecules are packed very loosely and the intermolecular force is very less than the liquids so the molecules move freely in all directions and that is why they are very compressible highly compressible because of this large intermolecular space also they don't have any kind of fixed volume or shape now you uh, came to know about the differences between the solids liquids and the gas so you need to write this table in this in your uh, notebook physics notebook c stop and reflect arrange solid liquids and gases in order of increasing intermolecular space so first will be solid second will be liquid and third will be gas so please uh, start filling in your books so first will be solid second will be liquids and third will be gases now does have a fixed shape and size obviously it will be solid okay so because have is written so you will put in plural form then liquids have a fixed volume and no fixed shape and gases neither have a fixed volume nor fixed shape now let's see the changes in the states of matter you see here here the example of ice water and water vapor is given so what happens when we heat when we put out ice then what happens the uh, ice gathers heat from the airs of the surrounding and what happens the temperature increases and the gap also increases then ice starts melting into liquid water and then when we heat this water then what happens the water changes into water vapor so on heating any uh, 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 this uh, matter for example water you will find that the three states of matter is interchangeable so when we put water into the fridge then what happens yes when we put water into the freezer then it changes into ice similarly when we take out ice from outside then what happens the ice melts and it changes into liquid so 
when a solid is heated to a particular temperature it changes into liquid so this process is called melting temperature at which a solid melts it's called its melting point now you know the melting point and the freezing point for a solid are same so that will be 0 degree for water okay now see liquid to gas liquids change into their vapors at temperatures below the boiling point that is how our clothes dry so what is boiling point then the temperature at which the bubbles start forming so that is called boiling and it is the same uh, as the condensation points of its vapor okay so when a liquid is heated to a particular temperature it is called its boiling point and what happens the bubble starts forming throughout its bulk and it changes into vapor at a much faster rate than at a lower temperature so that is the definition of the boiling point okay or the temperature at which a liquid boils is called its boiling point and it is the same as the condensation or liquefaction of um, the condensation point or liquefaction point of its vapor okay now some solids like naphthalene change directly into vapor without passing through the liquid state this process is called sublimation okay so the common what we see mothball or naphthalene ball or camphor okay so when you heat a camphor or we, we keep naphthalene balls in our almirahs then what happens after some time we can see the, their size changes but we cannot find any kind of liquid or leftovers so this happens because a naphthalene ball directly sublimates okay so we can find its smell but we cannot find the uh, liquid part of the naphthalene ball and the process by which it happens is called sublimation so naphthalene ball directly changes into vapor so this process is called sublimation now as homework you will answer these questions define matter give three examples then what matter is made up of what is the space between the molecules in the subst uh, substance called what are the three states of matter and you have to write the difference between solid liquid gas in respect to volume and shape okay then you need to write what is the interconversion uh, interconversion of state and you have to write what is sublimation and you need to give two uh, the name of two substances i just gave you the names naphthalene and camphor then what is liquefaction so liquefaction means the pro when a vapor condenses or cools and changes into liquid that is called condensation or liquefaction okay what causes matter to change its state so increase in the temperature or when we heat a matter then it changes its uh, state why are gases highly compressible okay so we have discussed this change in the state of matter so when we heat or cool at the right degree the matter changes its state and we have learnt about solid liquid solid to gas and liquid to gas con uh, con interconversion of matter okay